When it was noon, darkness came over the whole land until three in the afternoon. At three o'clock, Jesus cried out with a loud voice, Eloi, Eloi, lama sabachthani, which means, My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? When some of the bystanders heard it, they said, Listen, he's calling for Elijah. Someone ran, filled a sponge with sour wine, put it on a stick and gave it to him to drink, saying, Wait, let us see whether Elijah will come to take him down. Then Jesus gave a loud cry and breathed his last. And the curtain of the temple was torn in two from top to bottom. Now, when the centurion who stood facing him saw that in this way Jesus breathed his last, he said, Truly this man was Son of God. There were also women looking on from a distance. Among them were Mary Magdalene, and Mary the mother of James the younger, and of Joseph and Salome. These used to follow Jesus and provided for him when he was in Galilee. There were many other women who'd come up with him to Jerusalem. When evening had come, And since it was the day of preparation, that is, the day before the Sabbath, Joseph of Arimathea, a respected member of the council, who is also himself waiting expectantly for the kingdom of God, 
went boldly to Pilate and asked for the body of Jesus. And then Pilate wondered if Jesus were already dead. And summoning the centurion, he asked him whether he had been dead for some time. And when Pilate learned from the centurion that Jesus was dead, he granted the body to Joseph. Then Joseph bought a linen cloth, and taking down the body, wrapped it in the linen cloth, and laid it in a tomb that had been hewn out of the rock. He then rolled a stone against the door of the tomb. Mary Magdalene, Mary the mother of Joseph, saw where the body was laid. O Lord Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, set your passion, cross, and death between your judgment and our souls, now and in the hour of our death. Grant mercy and grace to the living, rest to the departed, to your church peace and concord, and to us sinners forgiveness and everlasting life and glory. For with the Father and the Holy Spirit you are alive and reign, God, now and forever. Amen.